Good evening, everyone. It's Pastor Brian Mick, and today is Monday, October 18th, and uh, it's time for our daily devotion. Getting to you a little bit later in the day today, I was out all day at an orthodontics appointment, so um, we're doing our devotion a little bit later on than we normally do, but we'll be back at uh, hopefully close to our usual time tomorrow. But anyhow, let's go ahead and get started. We're in Matthew chapter 14. We're starting at verse 1. At that time, Herod the Tetrarch heard about the fame of Jesus, and he said to his servants, This is John the Baptist. He has been raised from the dead, and that is why these miraculous powers are at work in him. For Herod had seized John and bound him and put him in prison for the sake of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife, because John had been saying to him, It is not lawful for you to have her. And though he wanted to put him in to death, he feared the people because they held him to be a prophet. But when Herod's birthday came, the daughter of Herodias danced before the company and pleased Herod, so that he promised with an oath to give her whatever she might ask. Prompted by her mother, she said, Give me the head of John the Baptist, here, on a platter. And the king was sorry. But because of his oaths and his guests, he commanded it to be given. He sent, he sent and had John beheaded in the prison, and his head was brought on a platter and given to the girl. And she brought it to her mother. And his disciples came and took the body and buried it, and they went and told Jesus. So I think we'll just stop there today. Um, quite a, a well-known story that we actually read about the end of John the Baptist here in the Gospels, in, in Matthew. And the point of this is that Herod had promised Herodias that he would give whatever she wanted, he had John in prison. John had spoken out against Herodias' family, or against Herod's family, which made uh, Herod's new wife mad, and which also probably made the, the stepdaughter also mad. And so when uh, Herodias asks uh, her mother uh, what, she would, uh, what she would like, she says the, the head of John the Baptist on a platter, and then... That's what Herodias asks for, and because Herod has now bound himself by oath, he can't go back on this, because he's got guests there, and, and he's got his wife and daughter, and so he's committed. Um, he does regard John the Baptist as someone important. Herod, if you remember, had uh, he had become a Jew himself, uh, although you know his fidelity to the Jewish faith was obviously questionable, but... It's thought that he did this to ingratiate himself to the to the uh, to the Jewish people, and to have an easier time leading. But it was obviously a political thing. So, in any event, he does hold John the Baptist in in high regard. And when uh, Herodias asks for his head, it's a very difficult thing for him. But yet, there's only one decision he can make. And so, at, at the end of the day, John the Baptist is put to death because he speaks out against um, against this marriage, which probably involved Herod marrying his brother's wife before, um, without the brother maybe even being divorced or um, maybe not even being divorced at all. So, uh, that was the crime that uh, there's a, a fracture here of the Sixth Commandment, and, and Herod identifies, um, or I'm sorry, John the Baptist speaks out publicly against this because it's, it's a, a public disregard of the Sixth Commandment by someone in a leadership position in a very public way, an unrepentant way. And so, you know, the church normally doesn't call people out for their sins publicly like this, uh, but if, if it's a sin committed within the body itself, in the midst of people, uh, it's setting a bad example, there's not repentance, and uh, it, like I said, it's public, then those are the criteria that, that are often used um, to be able to have a public rebuke, which Herod did, which you know got him executed. But such is life in the kingdom of God. And uh, we know that, that Jesus will be executed uh, for much the same reasons, calling people to repentance about things, preaching the law, and then preaching himself as, um, you know, the way of salvation. So, okay, let's continue now as we pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Everyone, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Amen. Okay, uh, so uh, some announcements to make. Uh, the Fall Festival is the big thing that's happening this coming um, this coming Saturday, so we hope that you can uh, be a part of that. Thank you all for signing up to bring some dishes for this event. We hope we can get some great attendance, so please plan on coming up between 4 and 6. If you'd like to come up a little bit earlier, maybe around 3, to help with setup, we'd love to have your help getting out tables, chairs, and, uh, and putting things out around the campus here at Holy Shepherd. And then a week from Saturday is going to be our Reformation Festival at 3 p.m. So we're trying to get some uh, big attendance for this. So we hope you can come and uh, enjoy the playing of these, uh, of these timeless chorales by our organist, David Preston. Uh, tomorrow, we're having a plumbing test done uh, from 9 in the morning until however long it takes. So uh, if you are not scheduled to need to be up here, um, we might ask you to just kind of um, stay at home. I believe Gray Circle, now that I'm talking about this, is supposed to be up here tomorrow. So if you're coming up for Gray Circle, definitely use the bathroom before you come. Um, although I think that um, being in the other building, it would probably be okay because the most of the, all the work's going to be done over here. So that should be fine. Okay, that's all the announcements I have for today. God bless you and the rest of your Monday, and we'll look forward to seeing you back again tomorrow for Daily Devotions.